I like whipped cream. And, uh... Too easy. We should, too easy. This was too easy, yeah. We're out of time. Yeah. Well, well, we're just gonna have to cut something out of the middle. <laughs> <laughs> On this show, that's not gonna be hard to do. How can we cook with all these dogs? Well, we're going to have to move it. We're going to have to move some of these dogs. Take them away, Al. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> all right. Well, this is our second Boy, anniversary man. show. We've been on the air for two years. All right. <laughs> and we are going to You make... know, it seems like 200, Barbara. <laughs> well, we are going to make our most requested recipe, which is dog food. <laughs> Now, you may laugh, but this was the... We they didn't laugh, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> you were supposed to laugh. <laughs> All right. Well, when we started two years ago, I think it was like our fourth or fifth show, you came up with this dog food recipe. Then over last summer, we did it on the home show, and that's what got us our job on the home show. That's what got us fired, too. No. <laughs> And people just keep on writing to us about the dog food recipe. So we figured on our anniversary show, we should do yes. dog food. So you know, when I walked is... in, I noticed we saw we have a few dogs in the audience, too. <laughs> That's right, you tell them. <laughs> well, this is a dog teapot. Isn't that cute? And the little bone balances on his nose. And oh. then... Isn't that cute? Which end of that dog was that coming out of? <laughs> Boy. Yeah, that was really oh. cute. And then, if you, then there's different dog bowls. Like this bowl says the dog from hell. Uh huh. If you have like a pet problem. <laughs> and this one says bone breath. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then, okay, I have to show you this. This will drive your dog crazy. I saw this in the store. You will love this. Okay. Why would that drive my dog crazy? Well, because dogs like birds, right? Not my dog, no. We're going to have my dog out here when we get the dog food done. So you shake this, and it sounds like a bird. So I was driving over here today, okay. and it's motion that makes it um, make noise. So like all the way here for a half an hour, this damn thing is going off. I turn around. <laughs> Ma, give me a stick, I'll kill it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hopefully that would be fun. Now we can cook. Okay, and then look what I got you. No, we can't. It says, I'm writing my own re cookbook, and all the pages are blank, and you can now write all these recipes that you steal Isn't that down, great? and they can yeah. be your own cookbook. Isn't that great? That's for me. That's for you. Isn't that good? That's for all you. Right. That's for our two-year anniversary. My gift to you. know, you. we've already got these all written. Oh. Well, did you get me anything for our anniversary? Why would I? No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, boy, I didn't even think it. I didn't even know it was our anniversary. Last week was your birthday. I'm having a Not, big month. And, and, she got, <laughs> and she got a Corvette. A new Corvette matches her nails. That's right, it matches my nails. Yeah, yeah. I was very happy. Yeah. Well, on, the la on last week's show, remember, I was lobbying for one. I know you were. So mm -hmm. I got it two days later, yeah. and it matches my nails, and I'm so happy. And Stan had a cold. He couldn't defend himself. That's when I get them when they're down. 
Okay, so this is... This is our mixing bowl. Yes. For our, our, for our dog food. Now, what happened to all my stuff? Oh, it's in the refrigerator. In the refrigerator. Now, will I have to touch meat? No. It would be nice if you didn't. Well... <laughs> Did I make this... I make this dog food... Yeah, close it. You know that refrigerator, if you don't close the door, it'll talk to you. Really? Yes. What will it say? It goes beep, 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 like that. Oh, I thought it was like, say, close the door, fool. No, no. That's what it means, though. Okay. Yeah. Now, can I... Can, so what do I do with this? Wait, why don't you just stand and watch, Barbara? Huh? Well, I thought I was let's the mixer. Oh, let's see if we got... Make sure we've got all our I stuff. I brought gloves, so I could touch meat. <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. I'm ready. All right. Terrific. Well, you in can that do case... so many things with rubber gloves. <laughs> and of course, you know, I have jewelry on my glove. You know what? <laughs> you know, I think that's the ones that Manuel use, uses to clean the bathroom with, but that's all right. All right. The dogs won't mind. Okay, so you got meat. How there much meat? There is three pounds of of 22% uh, fat hamburger. There was a half a pound, though, that had been in my refrigerator for a little too long, and I kind of threw that in there, too. Really? So, uh, yeah. Is that good for your dog? Oh, yeah. It's, it isn't spoiled yet. It's just, you know. On the way. It didn't have long to go. Well, you know. These the, eggs were on sale at Ralph's. You know that? They were. If you buy two, two, two dozen, you got one free. No, if you buy three dozen, you get one free. I don't know. Anyhow, it was, it was on sale. <laughs> The lady was real nice because she said, if you get another one, it'll be free. I said, well, don't need another one. And she gave me the money off. Really? Yeah. Don't tell, though, that she'll get in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now you right. take your meat and you squish it because yeah. you don't want to have lumpy meat for your dog. Now, that's, that's three pounds of hamburger and four eggs. Okay. Now, these are, are they call them... Little white beans. I used to call them navy beans because that's what they are. But they're not navy. Now they call them something else. They call them small white beans. They look more like small white beans than navy beans. Okay. Did they get the name navy beans because, like, you eat them in the navy? This bird is talking. Well, sure. Any motion causes the bird to chirp. I really I miss that. I was ready to kill it in the car. I really, I really miss that spoon. So now I cook these ahead of time. Oh, and, and you know I a did a lump them. of beans. Yes, and there's one pound of beans there. One pound And I beans. cooked them ahead of time in the pressure cooker. And you uh -huh. know you cook those beans like that in a pressure cooker in about 30 minutes. Really? Yeah. Well, now, how much dog food will this make? A lot. <laughs> this 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 make enough for my dog for about 10 days. But is this economical? Oh, it sure is. And it's really healthy, too. Really? People pay a lot of money for that dog, that, that dog food well, in the cans and stuff. Well, people treat their dogs better than they treat their husbands. Yeah, but they shouldn't feed them that, that dog food they buy in the store. It's awful. Oops. So? They don't sell <laughs> all except the, what, the stuff they sell at Ralph's, and it's good. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you, I can always depend on you. Okay. Okay. Well, so as we... long as you keep getting those sponsors, it don't make any difference. We lose one now and then, does it? <laughs> now, this is, we're going to use my Uli again. Your Muli. Uli. That you bought on late No, this TV. isn't a Muli. This a is a Muli. 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 A Muli is something Tahitian. Is it? Yes. I learned so much from you. Yeah. I'll tell you. You're a world of now, information. Now the, now, the recipe says to do this with a, um, with a um, food processor. But a food processor costs a lot of money. This you get for 29 cents at the fair. <laughs> so you leave the skins of the potatoes on them. Oh, yeah. That's where all the healthy stuff is. Really? These people from Irvine say that, but that's nonsense. But for dogs, for dogs, it doesn't make any difference. Well, now, after you, you said, so we can make little balls with these. Did you ever juggle? My nose is running again, Barbara. Really? Yes, it is, huh? I yes. think we need Kleenex as a yes. sponsor. <laughs> you know, when we, when we do, one of these sponsors pay their bill, we ought to buy a, a nice big box of Kleenex, so, to put back here. <laughs> All right. I'll put that on my to-do list. Good. Okay, so I'm mushing all of this up. 
Well, I tell you, you really need two people for this recipe because this is a lot to do. Yes. There's, now there's two, there's two potatoes here. Two potatoes. Yeah, I got these potatoes at Ralph's. They're, they're russet bakers and they're really nice. So the potato really is important. If you run down right now before they run out, you can get some really nice bakers. <laughs> they kind of look like they were hand dug. You know, they don't have a lot of, a lot of places where they've been cut and, and bruised and all that. Really? Yeah. Can I take some potatoes and put it in my mixture? Oh, my diamond on my gloves is gone. Uh oh, Stan. <laughs> we gotta get another. Gotta get another diamond, Stan. John, it's somewhere in the dog food. All right. No, I'm serious. The dog won't mind, Barbara. Uh-oh, well, well, you think Jack will poop it out? Well, I'll tell you what, oh. I'll, I'll save it up and you can come over and look for it, okay? <laughs> All right. Wait, wait, I have to find it! Okay. 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 Oh, we can't, we can't. You know what, gloves with ornamentation is not a good idea. Now that, now that was two potatoes, and now these are two, two carrots. Oh, this is driving me crazy. It's shiny. I should be able to find it. Barbara, Good thing it Barbara, was just I'll, I'll save it, and you can come over here and go through it. It'll be a lot easier. Oh, boy. Oh, well, I'll just keep squishing. It should come up. It will. Now there, now there was two potatoes in there, and now there's two carrots. And you know it's practically impossible to make a dog eat vegetables. You know that? Really? They just won't, won't eat them at all. I bet but you in it's this almost dog... impossible to make a dog eat rhinestones, too. <laughs> now they'll love it. Well, I don't want to kill Ooh, your dog. Come back. <laughs> Man, that dog eats nails and everything else. I don't know. <laughs> it's, oh, so, it's so funny. My, my wife buys him this, this, this real expensive dog food, you know, like, like from the veterinarian. Yeah. And he eats that, but then he gets out the door and he goes through every garbage can in the neighborhood. <laughs> well, I think this rhinestone, like, disintegrated. I can't believe I cannot find this thing. Ah, uh, all right. This is driving me crazy. Now, Do we have now, here comes, now, now uh, Barbara is allergic to carrots, and we're really going to make her cry, and her face will turn red and everything now from the carrots. Well, I have gloves on, so it should be okay. All right, all right. But you really can't feed this to the dog. I mean, there really is a piece of plastic in here. Won't hurt him. After he goes through all the garbage cans, a little piece of plastic is gonna hurt, no. Oh, no. God, I could just see the headlines now in the LA Times. Dog dies from cooking show. That's right, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Jim is here, isn't he? That's right. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Jim, this is off the record. Don't print this. No. <laughs> There's no plastic in the dog food. You know, look how easy this thing is to clean. Isn't that neat? You know, it takes half the night to clean one of those, those uh, uh, what do they call them, uh, food processors? Really? They got a fancy name. I wouldn't know. What is it? I don't clean. Cuisinart. Cuisinart. If you can figure out how to get the dumb thing apart, it takes forever to get it clean. This is the damnedest thing. I mean, I cannot find this thing. Oh, this is crazy. we got more stuff crazy. to put in there. Do we have more stuff to put yeah. in? That bird is talking again. <laughs> all right. Wait, wait, wait. I found oh. it. I found it. Here it is. All right. All right. All right. Boy. Well, we better save it, you know. It may, it may, it may fall out of favor with Stan, and you'll need to... <laughs> All right. All right. No, Stan the Trash Man has been very nice to me lately. I think he thinks after two years I'm going to hit the big time he's going to cash in. That bird is talking all the time. Now, what we have over there, there in, this, in this pot here, I did this for, beforehand too, is, is uh, minute rice. Minute rice? Yes, that you do real quick. I did it ahead of time. Takes a minute, huh? And in a minute in the water, sometimes, sometimes it takes less than that. Uh, I think that's something for Oprah, not here. But that's been a long time ago. Boy. Uh, what were we doing? Oh, the rice. You, you boil the water for the rice, and you put in four 
spoons of uh, beef bouillon, mm -hmm. and then you put the rice in. So that's so got flavor that, is important. Oh to yeah. Dogs. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. This has got this has got beef bouillon in it. Uh -huh. This rice has, yeah. And that's so damn heavy. I can hardly hold it up. Oh wow. Well, you're getting stronger, aren't you? Working out at cardiac rehab? Oh yeah. <laughs> I did today. I was there today. Hey, you keep going yeah. to that cardiac rehab. We want to have our third yeah, year uh, anniversary. All right. all right. Next month, I'm going to be a year older, too. You know that? That's right. Four. Your birthday is on the 4th of July. Yes. And I'm going to be 69, which usually is a good number. <laughs> all right. So all right. what's our next step? We're going we're gonna to put it. It looks like there's something missing out of there. Wheat germ. Wheat germ. Right. <laughs> That's right. Boy, this is so important, too. That's right. This way your dog lives a long time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. no, this is for the people in Irvine, because the people in Irvine all think they're going to live forever. <laughs> okay. Now we've got to put it in here. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh. Uh, this isn't what I had in mind, but... Oh, I, no? Oh, it's working well. Go ahead. That's okay. fine. Okay, now you can slide it right up here on the stove so we can see it. Ooh, look, a Barbara, globular. You're, thro you're throwing it all over the stove, Would you Barbara. like me to make it a mound? Yes, yes. That's, no, not a mound. Just make it flat, you know. Beating the meat. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Okay, nice and smooth. Yeah, and you got to get down around the edges, too. If you leave a little bit up on the edge like that, it'll burn. Well, see, technique is everything. Because this is going to go in the oven now. <laughs> this is this is going to go in the oven now for, uh, for, for how uh, long? One hour and a half. One hour and a half. At 350 degrees. Okay. And and here, here. open open the oven. Good girl. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh oh, now. All right. Ooh, that stinks. Oh. No, it's good stuff. And one hour has passed, and here we have it, right here. All right. All right. All right. Now. Can I wash my gloves, please? Yes, I please I do. A little soap. Please do. Okay, where is the dog? Uh oh, here is the dog. Oh, there he is. There he is. Jack, yay! <laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. Okay, let's get this out in here. Let's get this out in here. We don't need that. Okay, Jack, come over here now. Now sit. Hey, now sit, 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 sit. Good boy. Okay, now sit. Jack, come on over here and sit. Jack, sit. <laughs> Jack loves it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, Jack loves Jack. it. Yay! Jack. Jack, why don't you sit, huh? Come on, sit. Good boy. All right, all right. Good, good, huh? Here, let me. Oh, A sit. boy and his sit. dog. <laughs> oh boy. Next time, I'm only going to starve him for two days. Look at this. <laughs> Another successful dish for all right. here! <laughs> okay, all right. Yay! All right. <laughs> oh, wow. Anniversary <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, boy. Our two-year anniversary cake. Ooh, wow. Put it, put it, put it, oh, I see. Oh, I don't know. It's going to break out. Did that slide. It's gonna, and that looks we're in good. trouble. Doesn't that look great? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this up because obviously, well, anyone who wants to try that dog food, have at it. Um, but we are going to cut this up and we're going to go over to the other side. Ah! <laughs> Let's leave it right where it is. <laughs> leave it right where it is. Let's leave it right where it is, okay? You know, this show is hard on my nerves. How about on the count of three, happy anniversary? One, two, three. Happy anniversary! Yay! All right, all right. A two-year year. Okay. We got blocked in town. Okay. And then... This was, was this a fax you received? No. Where did I get that? I don't know, but he gave me this. Usually he doesn't give me things for viewer mail. And, and this is, I was surprised oh, my when trainer. I read it. My trainer gave me Your that. Your trainer? Yes. You actually have a uh, trainer? Yes, I do. A nice young fella. You mean that body is the result of somebody training you? 
<laughs> yeah, I got a, for an old man, I'm a, I got a good body. Really? For an old man, you know. <clears throat> we got to turn that fire down some. Turn that fire down This is a some. cooking show, remember, Barbara? Okay. Okay, all right. I need a stir. You sure do. <laughs> Give me a utensil. Stir. I got the urge to stir. Stir. Okay, well, this is what John gave me, and I was surprised because he usually doesn't give me things like this. It says the gift. A young man wished to purchase a gift for his new sweetheart's birthday, and as they had not been dating very long, after careful consideration, he decided on a pair of gloves. Romantic, but not too personal. Oh, what's what's is... funny about gloves? I guess someone has seen this oh. already. Accompanied by his sweetheart's younger sister, he went to Sears and bought a pair of white gloves. The younger sister purchased a pair of panties for herself. During the wrapping, the clerk mixed up the items, and the sister got the gloves, and the sweetheart got the panties. Without checking the contents, he sealed the package and mailed it to his sweetheart with this note. Darling, I chose these because I noticed that you are not in the habit of wearing any when we go out in the evening. <laughs> If it had not been for your sister, I would have chosen long ones with buttons. <laughs> but she wears short ones that are easy to remove. <laughs> These are a delicate shade, but the lady that I bought them from showed me the pair she was wearing for the past three weeks and they were hardly soiled. <laughs> I had her try yours on for, for me and she looked really smart. I wish I was there to put them on you for the first time, as no doubt other hands will come in contact with them before I have a chance to see you again. When you take them off, remember to blow in them just before putting them, as they will naturally be a little damp from wearing. Just think how many times I will kiss them during the coming year. I will hope that you will wear them Friday night. P.S. The latest style is to wear them folded down with a little fur showing. Oh. Oh. Barbara. Okay, and speaking of butts, look what I got Nobody you. Nobody was speaking of butts. These are shorts, okay? Now, we're always complaining that John's got a flat butt, so... If you wear these shorts, oh. I got these for you. Don't you think they're great? <laughs> and you can put them under your pants, and then people, you have a nice little tiny. Oh boy. Are you going to put flour in that? Boy, what are we doing? 